I had a request from Jennifer who asked if I could do a process video outlining how I go about doing a page. And I posted one earlier, but um, this one will be just a little more detailed about how, how I work on a daily basis. So I think I told you before that I work a week at a time. So this is a week spread. And I usually, every day, um, first thing in the morning, after I've had coffee, and it's about 30 minutes that I work in my journal every, every day before I go to work. And so I thought I'll take you through it, and hopefully it'll be helpful for you to see how I work in my journal. So here's a blank page. Um, I have already done the July 4th date, so that's I'm going to start here and show you my thought process for this. So when I have a blank page, the first thing I'll do is think about what I want to do for washi tape. So washi tape down the center and then on each edge. And I keep my washi tape like this. It's uh, loosely sorted by color. And I just open it up and I, I really just, whatever strikes my mood is the one that I'm going to go with. And like on the this week of the 4th of July, I decided, okay, I'll try and keep some red and blue in the, just for the, you know, the whole 4th of July theme. So I picked up my tapes and I laid them down. Um, and I make sure that they coordinate, particularly on this page, so that it goes with that. Okay, so that's the first thing I do. Then I think about, okay, I'm going to do the 4th of July. And what does that strike? You know, what kind of imagery or what do I want to do? Is there something I want to remember about that date? Well, in this particular case, um, the neighborhood... Um, the HOA went through and put flags on everybody's front steps and there's a lot of houses in our neighborhood probably 5,000 so it was pretty striking to see all those flags going down the street so I took a picture of it you really can't see all the flags going down here but um, when they're all when they were all waving it was it was beautiful so anyway that was the image that I started with and then um, I got these stickers from Target, and I wanted something that was going to be, you know, kind of happy. And I was first going to draw it, and then I decided, oh, I'll use those because those will be kind of bright. So the stickers look like this, and I had plenty of them, so that worked out great. Uh, my next thought was, okay, I have my picture, and I did this. Now I want some kind of red, white, and blue. And I was trying to think what I wanted to do. Did I want to use circles? What would really kind of just tie that together? So I went to the uh, paper source catalog because you guys know I use this a lot. And frequently, like this particular one, because it's summer, I thought it might have something in here for 4th of July. So I started looking through it and... You know, there were some flamingos. That wasn't going to work. And I didn't really see anything on here I wanted to use. And then I saw this. And I thought, that's perfect. And you can see where I cut this out. Now, I couldn't use white because it wouldn't show on the white paper. So I used kind of a gray. And I cut out the red, white, and blue. And it worked perfectly. And then uh, I decided that I wanted to have centers. And I just had scraps on my desk so I just use a little punch and cut out the centers and put that over it. The next thing I did was I knew I was going to have a little bit of journaling but I wanted to basically put a line here so that the journaling would be separated from the next section or the next day. So I thought well I think I'll use stars and I started looking through my dies and these were the stars that I had they're obviously bigger than I wanted because that was just going to take up the whole the whole room. But as I was going through my dies, I found this one. And this is a tab that you can make uh, an envelope where you pull the tab. You've probably seen those before. And I thought, what if I cut this out and then I put stars along here? That might work. So I grabbed, um, this is a... I got a jelly 
plate. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Anyway, so this is one of the first prints that I did, and I thought the yellow would tie in great. So I just used my die cutting machine, cut this out, and then I had little tiny stars uh, as a stamp, and I just stamped it across there. And then she came from, I, I have just pockets, lots, excuse me, of file folders that I keep images in. And I just happened to go through it, saw this one and that one, and thought she's perfect because I needed something long and skinny. It doesn't necessarily mean anything with the 4th of July, but it was filling up that space. She looks summery, and I thought I could make that work. So I put her down, and I colored her in with colored pencil. I just, um, just a little bit, uh, her hair, her lips, some of those things. I just colored in with colored pencil and uh, glued her down. And then over here was, I'd found this sitting on my desk. This was a digital download I had. So I cut it out and just colored it up and put it here for no reason, just other than I like it. And somewhere it's going to end up, you know, tying into something that I do. Um, and so that's where I am for the 4th of July. And uh, tomorrow I'll start. And I don't necessarily will, it doesn't mean I'm going to do the 5th of July right here. I might do something over here because I don't normally date them. Uh, it's just the week. So, as you know, as you can see here, there's, there's really no dates. It's just a week, and wherever they end up is where they end up. So, I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm thinking of every day posting one so you can see what I do in a week, and we'll see how that goes. So, that's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.